club show and tell um it is the show and tell for the grow a happy life paper crafting kit um so she is going to share what she created with the kit uh the grow a happy life paper crafting kit comes to kiwi club members uh came to kiwi club members this month um but everyone in the community can also get this kit um in the shop as well Debbie, if you want to say hi and introduce yourself, we'll wait for some comments to pop up. Hi, everyone. It's good to be with you today. I'm waiting for this to pop up so I can see your comments. I'm not there yet, so we'll give this a minute. But I'm, I'm excited. When I got this kit, I was really excited because I have a love for plants and anything that grows. Maybe that's why I have eight kids. When my babies got bigger, I wanted another one. <laughs> that was my problem. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm really happy to be here with you today. Oh, I think I see it. Let's see if there are any comments. You have, um, oh, no. let me turn me down. Yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, Marsha, Mary. So Kelly, Trisha, Marsha, Mary. Hi. Thank you for joining me today. I can see you. That's great. I'm so happy to have you here with me. Perfect. I think we're good. Yep. I'm going to let you take over. If you need anything, let me know. Okay. Thank you, Sonia. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. So I'm excited to be with you, with you today, um, sharing this February Kiwi Club kit. And again, like I was saying, I love everything that grows in Texas. Before I moved to Virginia, I had a greenhouse. Um, it was awesome. And one of the favorite things that my daughter and I did was just to grow, look, look at plants and see the, the different growing things. So I happened to have a few pictures of that. And um, I was able to put these pages together. So I'm really super excited to share that with you today. Many of you have probably already seen these. They've been posted on Facebook and um, uh, some of them, I don't know if all of them have, but I can at least show you kind of a little closer up and some details. And for sure, if you have any questions for me, just go ahead and pop your questions in and I will check comments periodically as we go. Let me check quickly now. Okay, Kelly, Tricia, Marsha, Mary. Hi, Mary and Suzanne. Uh, yeah, Mary, I live in Virginia right now, the Richmond area, it's actually called Midlothian. Um, so I have trees and lots of pretty things outside right now. So hi, Nikki. So glad to see you guys join me today. Let's get back to the comments so I can see them from Wyoming. Okay, I'm going to start with, um, with one that I used the card to title it, Remember Your Roots. Here, I'll try to scooch over and give you the full view. Just pretend it's lined up down here because I can't hold it straight. And then I'll kind of show you the closer ups. So this is my daughter, Rachel, who is my gardening companion. And my grandson, Ian, who is Shiloh's son, if you know Shiloh. And um, in our Middleton home, before we moved to Texas, so we were in Middleton where our home office is. Then I moved to Texas for a couple of years, and now we're here in Virginia. So in our front yard, we thought before we moved and when we were getting our house ready to sell, that we would, you know, clean up the, the garden area. When we first moved there, we planted a lot of things. Um, some roses, you'll see pictures of those, and other plants in the planters in the front. And they had grown so much six years later. 
And there were some that we thought we better pull out and make room to make it all look better. I, you probably have done stuff like that when you're selling a house too. So, but this one was really a tough struggle. So you're seeing that we did it um, one right there, but it took the two of them quite a, a long time to dig down and release that. So I use this, remember your roots. Not only is that fun, a play on the work of the picture with the roots, but also this is family. This is Rachel and her nephew, Ian, my daughter and my grandson. And so the things that you do with family um, are just a way to strengthen your family roots. And even things like this, even things like pulling out a huge root ball from a plant. So, but I used the um, toadstool on this from a Kiwi Club. I meant to look up which one, but that not too long ago, a few months ago in the summer, I think. And then um, I tucked this house plant a la carte behind it. And I, whenever I can use this, I do. I love this piece. It's from the homegrown set and I love it. I love just a touch of fence here and there. And it was perfect for these pictures to be able to kind of set up that feel of a home garden, you know, type of thing. So that worked really well. Um, I use tiny plants. I use tiny plants anytime there is any kind of a, a theme that that would go with or tuck it in here and there. So I just use some of the parts from tiny plants. This one is four. And then I also used what came with it, the grow set. And the grow set has seven pieces. I'll show you them all as I use them. And one of them was this really adorable little flower and you just cut it out and pop it in where you want. <clears throat> I cut the actual top part out of a different co color and then just um, taped it on top. And I also really like when I can to use, this is, I've had this punch for years. Uh, it's a Martha Stewart one, I think. I bought it so many years ago, but it's this little butterfly right there. And I wouldn't want to hand cut that out. So I really like having some punches occasionally for the, just the tiny little accents that can be added really quickly. So, so that's one side. The other side is the pictures of the process. So they dug and they dug and they dug and they dug and they dug until they uncovered it. And then they thought they had it. And then the roots were down further and they just kept digging. And so I just, I just stood out there and snapped pictures. I didn't even help. <laughs> it was fun. But I really love this fun set here. You can see I pulled that fence over just to kind of continue that across the two pages. But this piece of our grow set that came with the kit, this one looks like a, a hand cart or like a wheelbarrow. And it was fun. It was so fun and easy to do. Let's turn that around. So you can see how I traced it out. There we go. But you can do it a couple of different ways. Um, you can use an exacto knife. I think Shallow did it on one of her samples to go ahead and cut out these pieces right here. You can cut them out. I just use them with a black marker to trace on this, on this sample, which worked great. It was really easy to do. Put a little epoxy dot in the middle, um, kind of like the the part that holds that and allows it to spin. Yes, I'm blanking on what that's called right now. And then I tucked another tiny plant or two into the top of it. This one, really easy. Um, but the card was just perfect. It said, play in the dirt because life is too short to always have clean fingernails. And, and it was just a fun one to do. For the border, I kept it really simple. I used aspen quartz on both sides straight across. And then I just took strips of the different papers. So again, I'll hold this up to show you. Let's see if I can get this right. Kind of goes backwards. So, yep, it started on this side where my face is and went across to the other side. But it showed um, a, a fun memory that even though it was hard work, it was definitely, um, 
something that they enjoyed doing together. It was just fun for them. Okay, I'm just checking comments. Do you have any questions on anything that I did on that one? It's nothing special. It's just taking the templates, tracing them out, replacing them. I actually loved the cards in this one because this one said, life's a garden, dig it. So again, it just worked really well. And that was using this template from the grow set. So I just traced that out in a couple of different colors. And um, I really like it that these, you can see through these, so you can place them right over the words on the cards, and then you can trace it out and just have, it just adds so much and it's so easy to do. I love it. And that's the first one. The second one I wanna show you today is, it's outside my normal design um, design way. I think we all have certain ways that we um, design our layouts and and I definitely do. And but I saw a sketch for this and I thought I'm gonna give that a try. It's not my norm, but I love having the different kinds in my albums. So this one is again of my daughter Rachel. She's one of my favorite people to take pictures of. She's so photogenic. And pictures of a greenhouse that we visited and also our own. And I'll show you um, a little closer. You'll notice I didn't use a border on this at all. I used just some uh, half inch strips, top and bottom, and then started um, adding things around it. And, and I ended up really loving this one. I, it's again, like I haven't ever done anything like this. So please try something new. If you see a sketch or a design or even somebody posts something and you haven't tried it before, please just go ahead and try new because it was fun to, to have something to go by, to look at and, and then try it and come up with a layout that I really ended up loving so much. I'll show you this one first. The card I used that came in the kit said, plant smiles, grow laughter, harvest love. And um, this is a picture of our greenhouse in Texas. I'll do that with some plants in it right there. And one of the plants that's also from our greenhouse. Um, so what I used on this one is I used the rings. I'll start over here. So lacy trims, it just set up a beautiful place to group things. I like to group things um, and layer things. And so by using lacy trims, You see trims two, Let's see where I put that. And then I put on top of that a ring out of another printed color of paper. I like doing that. I like adding that ring in the middle. Um, you could also just cut lacy trims out and have it solid in the middle. And I've seen that work really beautifully too. But I wanted to tuck these other things in the middle of it. So I used these, a combination of templates that came with the kit, the grow set, and I made the pot out of this one. So that is grow number four. And I just, I just cut that out of the striped paper and I cut a, a little brown piece out of the top and added kind of the lip of the pot. I love pots, I have so many pots here. So, and I love striped pots, it's kind of one of my favorites. So I made the pot and then I tucked some different types of flowers. I tucked the grow flower that came in the kit. Again, just cut it out. I added some epoxy dots at the tips like that. If you can see that. And then I also used um, tiny plants. I've got these all laid out in front of me. Let me get it. Tiny plants 9T right there. So I just cut these little bits out. And then this is this one again, tiny plants tucked in right there. And this one is 40. So it's like, it's actually like planting plants. So I made the pot and then I found the different plants. I wanted to go in it and I just cut those, those out and tuck those in and it made such a cute grouping. And it fits so well on that lacy trims with the ring center and really created that foundational side. Added some more pictures of Rachel and a greenhouse we visited. 
there's a greenhouse in Boise that we would go to in the winter because they had plants. They even had like um, tea parties and you could go during the winter and sit there where it was warm inside and enjoy that. So that's something we like to do together. On this side, you can see that I brought the, I'll show you that I brought the ring feel all the way across. So I started over here, but I have one on the bottom and on the top. And that just brings that whole feel of the ring clear across. I like, I like um, pulling the design all the way across both pages. So on this one, I, instead of lacy trims on the other side, I use the same paper, but I used the bracket number two. And you can see right there. And um, I used the rings top and bottom, just tuck them in. I actually didn't cut the whole ring. I just knew where I wanted to cut it. And then I cut that much and tucked it in and I didn't have to waste any paper. And then at the top in the grow set, it came with the snail, <laughs> which is cute. like that. So I just cut out the body, kind of the brown part or beige part there um, first. And then I use some pattern paper to do the, the shell part. And I just used a black marker to follow the swirl on this. So I laid it right over the top and then ran my marker just around like that, which worked out really well. I've seen so many others online that have used, uh, I think like liquid pearls, you could use stickles. Um, some can cut it out if they wanna go through the trouble of actually cutting that out with like an exacto knife or something. I chose something simpler to do and tucked it right on the top of that. And then again, I used this gross sign from the kit, making the, the post itself out of some beige like the snail. And it says herb garden. And that was one of the cards that had that saying on it. So it worked up again, just pretty simple. It's, re it's really paper and really, I'm looking now, it's only paper and epoxy dots, white epoxy dots on the whole thing. Sometimes when I finish a layout, I look at it and I, I forget that it's all paper and maybe I should add a little touch of something, some jewel or some dot or a button or some um some baker's twine or ribbon or something and so because when I get done with a layout with all the paper it just feels so complete to me but I do like to just add a little touch of something I'm going to check comments now before I show you my last layout today oh uh, Lisa thank you yes I love it too and it it wasn't my idea that's what's so fun I found that somewhere else um and I it probably was in the sketchbook and I um, and I'm glad I did it. It's really cute. I love it. And now it's part of my scrapbook. So, OK, I don't see any other questions. So I'll go ahead and do show you the third one. And I say this for last because this is the sketch layout. So in all of the um, PDF idea books for each Kiwi Club, there's a sketch. So Susan Chalo and I take the sketch also when we do these samples for you and we each design a layout based on it. Um, you can copy it uh, or you can change it. I saw one person um, flip this page. So if you haven't tried just rotating a page, that's a really great idea. It looked really good and you can do that. So you can add things, take things away, re replace, maybe not use this type of thing. Maybe you want the sun coming out behind those pictures and there's templates that will help you do that. So um, the sketches are there to just bounce ideas off of. I actually pretty much went along right with the sketch now that I'm looking at it. And I had a lot of fun with the bits and pieces. So I'll get the basics layout done pretty quickly. And then I tend to spend a little more time on the details of things. So let me first um, pull this up for you. And you can see it. Um, this turned out the paper. Um, I love the paper and I love how it went together. I decided to use um, Spook Alley, which I haven't used for a long time. 
but this part of Spook Alley down here, because again, garden, and I was thinking picket fence, I was trying to kind of stay with the theme. So Spook Alley gave me that feeling of like a picket fence. And on top of that, I used, I'll show you the two together. So I used Spook Alley, and that was 1A and 1B. I used one on each side. And on top of that, I added Sunnybrook Lane. I used 1A and 1B. So let me show you when I put them together that you have the border that I did. This is why I love our templates. I can see this and know that all I have to do is trace and cut and replace, and I can put this border on my layout, which is what I did right here. And then I just topped it with like a half inch strip of paper. Again, I was um, using kind of lacy trim. So on this side, I, I kind of wanted that burst um, feeling. I did the same thing with the rings too, just in a complementary color, the pinkish color. But I went ahead and filled in the middle this time with a piece of paper so that it wasn't open all the way to the back. And it did bring up, I love how the patterns and colors complement one another. I really wanted to bring that out on this layout. This is Rachel again, she's gonna be famous. She's star in a lot of my layouts. She's the one I have at home right now. So um, she's going to grad school. And this is roses that we planted when we moved to Middleton and they sat right in front of my office window there. So um, the pink roses that we had. This is the same pot that I showed you on the other one, this grow four of seven template here. But I pulled, also pulled in the tiny plants pot. <laughs> I collect pots at home and pot templates. <laughs> so that's that one. I just placed it over one of our cards again. This one said, a garden is a friend you can visit anytime. So, and, and that was just what was happening here. And so I did that and then I went ahead and cut a difference out. And I used the scallop edge here to draw it on here and go ahead and cut that out. So I had a scalloped edge on the, the pot there. Again, I used um, this grow template. I love sticking signs in pots, so that worked out really well. And I used the flower that came in the grow set. I really stuck to the set pretty good. Right here, did it twice and then tucked um, this one in again, just there. I did um, use some pop dots. If you can see these, lift, these are actually standing off from the edge. I don't know if you can see in, there it is. So I give it some texture and dimension there. And then um, again, another little punch. I actually saw these punches being used by someone, one of our creative partners, I think. Um, on some of their layouts when they were teaching a class and I thought I need to find those because this is a little tiny one. I'll show it to you here. But it's just like a little center of a flower. I just loved it because I love flowers and I love using them. This one's just a little bigger. It's basically the same thing. Um, and I got both when I saw that up there. I just went on Amazon. This is by Punch Bunch if you're looking for something like that. And it's right here. So this little punch, it's probably blurry because I'm getting close, but yeah. It adds this cute little touch. I put a little epoxy dot in the middle and that page was done. Oh, the other thing I really enjoyed was making this hat. This is a great template. It's made well. So when you put it on there, you can see, but it has movement. When you look at it, it looks like it has movement. It's not your typical hat with just the brim that someone drew. This one looks like it has movement. And I loved that. And I, I went ahead and cut out that middle swoop there and then put some dots on it to emphasize that. And I also popped that up. So this actually kind of has movement even on the page so that when I'm looking at it, it just feels, it feels like it's just taken off someone's head and set right down and this uh, tiny plant that's sticking out. Tiny plants is a great set, right there. Okay, and so on this other side, I pulled in, uh, there it is. Remember the a la carte vine? 
from one of our Kiwi clubs. You can put it any way you want. Well, this was, you know, a plant one, so I went ahead and pulled that out. So I just cut that out, tucked it in here like it had been growing there. And then I went ahead and used this again, kind of drooping down, probably this way. And again, that little punch with an epoxy dot on it. And it finished that side off really well. A little half inch strip there, and I used the same borders on this side. Um, but instead of layering them one over the other, like this, I put them side by side with the strip down the middle. I had the same feel, the patterns of colors came across the page beautifully and just a little bit different look. Now here's where I use this cart again. This time, um, instead of just, there we go. This time, instead of just tracing that with the black marker, I went ahead and cut each of those pieces out. So I used it as a stencil, put it on the paper, traced each one of them, cut them out, and then glued them. Um, to make sure I glue them where I want, I go ahead lightly with a pencil and I trace them onto this brown paper. Let's try doing this. I just trace where they go really lightly so that when I go to glue them on, then I can see where I'm supposed to do it. And it's really easy that way. Um, one of my favorite pieces in this set is this tiny shovel, which is number one of the grow set. And it's ridiculously cute when you cut it out. So it's right here. You just cut it out. I did it two colors. And then I just took some um, string that I had and wrapped it around the handle here, popped it up and popped off. And then I went ahead and traced again this over one of the cards, this one, um, free weeds, pull your own. Actually, it was one of the cards that would have fit on here for the signs, see? But I decided to make it just a sign on the side. So I went ahead and cut this part separately. I, I cut one hole and then I cut another piece, just traced that much out of it and popped it up with dots so that it looks like you can tuck things into the wagon. And it worked really good. Again, the grow from the flower from the grow. Those are the leaves from tiny flowers that I used before. And then I wanted a butterfly, a little bigger one than the punch that I had. And so I went to tiny springtime and I found this butterfly and went ahead and cut that out and popped it right there. I'll show you the whole thing again, but I know I just saw it on Facebook. So I know it's posted there for you. And it's also in the idea book. If you download the PDF, you can look at it closely, but yeah. This one I loved. <laughs> it turned out well. Do you have favorites sometimes? Okay, hi Susan. She's commenting. Um, okay, let me just check your comments. Oh, thank you, Rosa. Susan said, I loved creating with this kit. It was so calming and inspiring. You know what? It was. It was a beautiful kit. Like I said, plants, they're a big part of my life. I love them. And so making these beautiful layouts with these pictures that mean so much to me. Um, it was really fun. <laughs> Pop-up is essential, Susan said, yes. Pop-up tape, any kind of that dimensional tape is really, really helpful. I love dimension on it, so. Any other questions? I'm gonna look just here for a bit longer, but I hope that if you have your kit, you get it out and use it. Um, this one is fun. The papers are gorgeous. And if you have a kit, I mean, when we get them, we, we, we use it all. We sit and we do what we can until it's pretty much used up. But you don't have to use it all right away. You can go in and make one layout because you have some pictures or things that you want um, to use with that. Tuck it all back in your package. Go into something else. And when you find other pictures, you can pull out your kit and do it again. So... Uh -huh, Debbie has a green thumb. Yes, I visited Susan and I, her daughter, Abby is on a mission and Abby is, 
is a plant lover that both the girls are, but um, some of the plants look like they needed a little, little tender loving care. So I did that while I was there. So I'm so happy. I don't see any other questions, but I'm um, happy you joined me today. I hope just that anything I said or showed you helps you or helps you come up with ideas. I definitely think the sketchbook is a great idea and the sketches that come with our Kiwi Club every time um, is a great idea. I use them, I look at them and, and I'm like, oh, look at that because a lot of us will fall into a rut and um, scrapbook the same way basically every time. So this month I was really thankful for the sketches and the ideas that um, came up with. Um, that I could use to create uh, layouts that I haven't done before, like this one, which, yeah, turned out to be really special for me. So I hope you make layouts that are really special for you. Make sure to um, uh, download that idea book. And where are we in the month? It's the 22nd, maybe? 21st, 22nd. So you still have time to sign up for Kiwi Club if you aren't a member yet and you'll be able to get the next kit that ships out if you do that this month so you guys have a good day enjoy your day i hope you have plants and flowers where you live thank you